It's uh, very unfortunate that I am to bring you news. I think many of you are probably already aware that Kate has cancer. Again, as with that of King Charles III, it's an unspecified kind. And as with Charles, she went in for uh, what seemed like a routine surgery, only to find that she had this. Now, again, from the language that she has used, as with Charles, it doesn't appear to be anything fatal, but she is in need of privacy, which is why I think this will be a, a video that doesn't focus too much on her, but about how others have uh, treated her in recent days and weeks, because that cannot be ignored. This became a huge news story around the world. I spent time in uh, Florida looking into Scientology there, and everybody I spoke to, rather than wanting to discuss Scientology, were just like, and how's, how's Kate? What's going on with Kate? And of course, all sorts of conspiracy theories uh, came to the fore. Um, and this wasn't the best time for certain people, Meghan Markle being one of them, Stephen Colbert, being another who is now being sued for his remarks about Kate. Um, so I think, you know, hopefully a lot of you already knew this. I don't want to be really that bearer of this kind of news. Uh, I found myself tearing up just watching it. Uh, it's really sad no matter who gets something like this, this kind of diagnosis. It was almost, uh, I'm getting shivers talking about it actually, because it was almost unreal seeing her talk after all the hoo-ha about the photoshopped photo. Uh, not really being able to see her in public and all those kinds of things, to suddenly see this video of her talking to camera, feeling the need to talk to camera was very strange. They enter into a strange kind of pact when you marry into the royals, when you're born into the royals, really. You don't have much choice, but there's a little kind of pact and you sort of give up your, your freedom or your liberty to keep things private. And... We saw what happens when somebody does try to keep these things, and obviously, you know, she would wanted to, she want, and she said in her video that she wanted to explain this to her children, and people looked to take advantage, particularly those with a tactical, strategic outlook, such as Megan. This was not a good look. The stuff that she was putting out, uh, and a lot of us didn't expect it. Some of the rumors and conspiracies. I mean, one that I kept hearing uh, was that she had had an affair, and that's what this surgery was. It was the uh, removal of, of her pregnancy. Um, and, and a friend of, you know, I don't even want to repeat the names or anything involved, to be honest, but a friend of, a friend of the family who uh, recently died, that that was all part of it, sort of a, uh, the conspiracy about Diana that had happened to this guy, and now she had had to, you know, whatever... The more prominent conspiracy was about uh, William, of course, and I'll get into that in a minute, but I want to talk about Meghan Markle, because many of you will remember that a source close, or sources close to Meghan Markle and Prince Harry waded into Kate Middleton's photo editing crisis, saying, this isn't a mistake Meghan would ever make. Let's go back to that photo editing crisis then. Well, that was the crisis. This was... This was obviously Kate wanting to look at her healthy best, remembering a lovely moment she'd had with her three children. There she is, smiling beautifully. Firstly, loads of people started saying it was a Vogue cover from 10 years ago, which I did a video debunking because it clearly there were bits that were different. That wasn't what was happening. Um, but people did notice that there were photoshopped parts. It's something that perhaps she shouldn't have done because of the just the enormity of being a royal, how these things spread around the world, how internet sleuths are out looking for the slightest change in detail. But now we know she just wanted to look good in a picture with her kids. She's obviously quite ill, and it's just incredibly sad. And we knew at the time when Meghan made a comment like that, this isn't a mistake Meghan would ever make. This is a mistake Meghan would make. Getting her sources, and we have to, look, we don't know we know that Meghan and Harry use sources to communicate things to the press. We know that the royals do that as well. It's just how they work. This was reported to page six. So I'm going off of what they said, right? We don't know 100%. And also, obviously, 
Meghan and Harry didn't know about Kate's condition because, yes, they're stupid, yes, they're hypocritical, yes, to many, many other accusations, but they're not that stupid and that hypocritical. However, this was pretty stupid, and this isn't a mistake that Kate would ever make. For one, putting out sources to make all these kind of snarky comments about a photo that had gone wrong, and they added that they feel like they would have been annihilated if they had handed out secretly photoshopped images of themselves. They wouldn't make a mistake like this. And I was saying the other day about this, it's a bit of that Dunning-Kruger thing. I don't know if you all know about the Dunning-Kruger effect, but it's this concept that those who are stupider tend to be more confident of their intelligence. Those who are more wrong are more confident that they are right. Intelligent people know that they get things wrong all the time. And it just feels like no matter how many mistakes Meghan and Harry make, no matter how many faux pas that we all look at them and go, oh my God, again, they still come out with a statement saying this isn't a mistake. Well, a statement through sources. This isn't a mistake that Meghan and Harry... I mean, what? And obviously, this is a mistake because the problem is they need to know this. They need to have better advisors. But it was always likely that the conspiracy theories around Kate and this man, around William and this woman, and the termination of a pregnancy, it was always likely that that was unlikely. The simplest answer is so often the right answer. I know that's not interesting or exciting. And unfortunately, in this case, the simplest and most obvious answer, because we knew she'd gone in for abdominal surgery, was that there were complications and something wasn't right. So now, we okay, with hindsight, what they put out through sources, if that's what they put out, if they didn't, I can only apologise. If this is, you know, we'd never be able to prove it, where it all came from. But this was one of the stupidest mistakes anyone's ever made. And I can tell you this, it will not be forgotten. It will not be forgotten by her detractors. It will not be forgotten by me. It will not be forgotten by you guys, the viewers. But I'll tell you what, William and Kate will not ever forget this. This might be brushed over in the papers. People, others might sometimes forget it. I don't think you guys will. William and Kate will never forget the words this isn't a mistake Megan would ever make about the person who's made the most mistakes of anybody who's ever been in the public, in the public whatever, realm. Absolutely flabbergasting words. And maybe ironic that the biggest, potentially the biggest mistake Megan's ever made involves the statement, this isn't a mistake Megan would ever make. How, how ironic that that is the biggest mistake I think she's ever made. That's my opinion. Of course, absolutely mad. She's not the only one who made those kinds of mistakes, of course. Loads of commentators did. A lot of people did for clicks and views and things like that. Um, you know, whatever. Some people, I believe, have a greater... Um, I don't know. They have larger platforms. They have more responsibility. And... I've got nothing against Stephen Colbert. Like, it seems all right. It seems like a nice bloke. When he did that bit the other day, and it was a comedy bit, okay, it was at, I was flabbergasted. I was absolutely amazed that he would come out with allegations like that. And I think the assumption is William and Kate are not as litigious as Harry and Meghan, so we can make jokes. And that's a sad state of affairs, by the way. I think you should be able to joke about anything. You should be able to joke about anything. Like, think of the worst thing in the world. I think you should be able to joke about it, and it's about the intent of the joke. What is a shame is that people will be the more likely to be the victim of the joke or the butt of the joke if they are not litigious. So because Harry and Meghan sue everyone all the time, that kind of joke would not be made at their expense. William and Kate don't tend to sue. They tend to sort of be very dutiful and graceful and eloquent. So they are the butt of that joke. Now, you can joke about anything. However, this was said with such sincerity and such certainty, and it was the suggest suggestion of an affair. And an affair that could easily damage, the rep or does damage, the reputations of Kate, William, and the person at the centre of this. And, whoa, now they're being, now he's being sued, I believe. 
So this is about Lady Rose Hanbury, who was rumoured to have a past affair with Prince William. Reportedly, he, she reportedly sent a legal notice to Stephen Colbert after he made a joke about the pair during a recent episode of the, his CBS Late Night Show. On the March the 12th edition of The Late Show, Colbert 59 trolled Marchioness of Cholmondesley, or what I'd never say that right, and the Prince of Wales 41 about the 2019 rumours. Even more, he speculated they were still dating amid Kate Middleton's recent abdominal surgery recovery. The memo continued, uh, this is the legal thing, we have written on our client's behalf to CBS and various other reputable media organisations to confirm that the allegation is false. The Post has reached out to Colbert for comment. So we don't know if that's going to go into a full legal proceeding, but he's going to have to at least back down and apologise, I'm pretty sure. So it's a mess everywhere. Look, I don't think Colbert's a bad guy. I've said this before, it always gets me in the most trouble with Meghan and Harry. I don't actually think either of them are that bad. I think they're humans who have hypocritical beliefs, who don't realise anything bad about themselves. I think they might be on the narcissist spectrum, maybe on the psychopath spectrum with Meghan. I think Harry's extremely dim. These are all my opinions and whatever. They're not They're not like, you know, authoritarian leaders of, of countries. They, you know, they're not despots who, who I don't even know however I don't know I'm quite critical of them that's that's the truth of it and this is not a good look I don't know how you come back from it now as to what Kate has said she said this is uh this is of this uh, sorry this of course came as a huge shock and William and I have been doing everything we can to process and manage this privately for the sake of our young family <sighs> She said doctors had advised her to have a course of preventative chemotherapy and she is currently in the early stages of that treatment. It's taken me time to recover from major surgery in order to start my treatment, she said, but most importantly, it has taken us time to explain everything to George, Charlotte and Louis in a way that is appropriate for them and to reassure them that I am going to be okay. As I have said to them, I am well and getting stronger every day by focusing on the things that will help me heal in my mind, body and spirits. She described having her husband, Prince William, by her side as a great source of comfort and reassurance, adding, as is the love, support and kindness that has been shown by so many of you. It means much to us both. The princess's chemotherapy began in late February, although it is unclear when it will end. Kensington Palace said it would not be sharing the type of cancer, adding the princess has a right to medical privacy, as we all do. This is in line with Charles not revealing his type, and I suppose why should they have to, other than to sort of spread awareness of the particular kind of, of whatever it might be. And Charles, for example, was doing some sort of charity work and talk about prostate cancer, but that's not what he ended up having, but we don't know what he does. It's also unclear when the princess will return to official duties. The palace said she would do this when she is cleared to do so by her medical team. Prince William, meanwhile, will continue to balance supporting his wife and family and maintaining his official duties as he has done since the start of the year, according to the palace. Kate has not been seen on official engagement since late December when she was pictured on a Christmas Day walk with other members of the royal family in Sandringham. The future Queen's long absence has sparked global social media speculation and conspiracy theories and a Mother's Day photo released of her and her three children did little to quell the frenzy after it was revealed to have been edited. So there you go. As I say, just to recap on all of that, I think the main things here are Colbert. Stephen Colbert is one of many who's now sort of feeling a bit bad, I, I assume, about spreading some of the rumours around an affair. But I think the big story here is we've talked before like, about whether Meghan and Harry have any way back into the royal fold, particularly when William is king. How could William ever welcome Meghan back when at his wife's lowest moment, her health her, in the air at this point, her health being pivotal, pivotal because that without our health, what do we have? That is everything. And it's everything to him, and it will have put so much in perspective. And while they were trying to save her life and trying to figure out how to make a go of things and how to ward off the press intrusion, the one thing that Harry and Meghan say they care about most, Harry and Meghan, by all accounts, 
by the accounts of page six, were talking with their sources and feeding to the paper that this isn't a mistake Meghan would ever make. How can she ever come back into the royal fold at that point? Absolutely mad. Um, that's all I've got to say now. Hit that like button, the stuff you got to do. Keep watching the channel. Um, and let me know what you think about all of this below.